All right. Very quick video just to document some stuff I've been looking at. I got this tester a couple weeks back from a friend. It's a very sensitive tester. It's got an LED in it. If you touch each end, it'll actually light up when you complete a circuit with your own hands. So what I've been doing is going through some crystals and stones and seeing which ones are conductive and which ones aren't just by touching them and having them light up to let me know that there's a complete circuit my body being the generator so to say now if all these are touching these are all shungite stones on the top here which are quite conductive I can touch nothing if I touch there come on You can see it lights up now. Of course, if these were larger stones and placed in soil, then they would all interact together. You could just be touching one stone. Okay, anyways. That's shungite. Shungite is quite conductive. It's out of Russia. If your shungite doesn't do that, then you're not getting real shungite. This is also a shungite pyramid here. Same thing. Very conductive. Just on its own. If you put these by power wires or anything like that, you're also going to get a little bit of conductivity coming through there. It's pyrite, also very highly conductive. One surprising thing here, this is, I cannot remember the name of it, it's a prehistoric eel. It's turned to stone, petrified, petrified fossil, whatever you want to call it. But there's a lot of uh, the pearl type stuff on the top there. And the pearl itself, what is that called? Pearl. Anyways. It is conductive. The closer you get with your finger, the more charge you got. Back here, it goes down a bit. Also through the marrow, the center of it, you can ground it on the bottom. And I have picked up a charge through there. You gotta go into the darker spots. And often they're the ones where you're gonna pick up you're going to make a complete circuit. Very dense. Fool's gold, pyrite. more denser, the more conductive it is. This stone here is unidentified. I'm not sure what that is. It's also very conductive. It will not attract a magnet, whereas the pyrite will. This stone does not attract a magnet. But you can get depending where you go on the stone, you can get a fairly good circuit happening through there. It's quite conductive. Petrified wood, if 
very light colored petrified wood. If you go on the darker points and are able to connect to the point on the other end, it will show you, it will guide you just where to hold your hand and where you're going to get that proper connection. Enough time on the video to show you there is certain points where it will light up. Absolutely it will. There you go. It did light up a little bit. And this is dark petrified wood. And what I've noticed is up through the plates, you can see the plates on the top. If you're definitely touching the, the plate on the top here and you touch over here, you can pick up. Odd thing there, see how it dims out? I place my fingers over there, place that, and it's like it almost, almost as a capacitor. It's actually absorbing some energy there, it seems, and it completes the circuit, and then it dims out. very interesting. It will store energy it seems. And then somehow the circuit itself dissipates. Okay. I think that's enough for this video. Oh, let me... This quartz cluster. Certain points in the quartz. Where it will complete a circuit too. And it's all in finding the sweet spot. Carefully, because you don't want to damage anything. There's a spot right there, and that's just down in here. It's very conductive through there. It shows you how crystals store energy, how transferable it is. In my mind, I believe this shows you all the nodes that you, one can work with. And you can find the best nodes out of your crystals or stones. Moldavite itself doesn't have a charge. Once again, if I have this by a wire or some AC current, the water itself picks up that, that current and it will form a circuit and light up this light. You take this away from wires and stuff and the light won't light up. try this cluster here and then I'm going to shut off the video. I haven't tried this cluster. And try and go right down in there. Nothing. Right on the edge we got right there.
see that one's not going. This one, even when I'm touching this one, it will light up. It'll show you all the ones that are... I'm touching this large one here. No, it's just from touching back there. This is excellent. Alright. Thanks for all your time and see if this video turned out.